You're probably right in that. I'm not yeah. going to argue that yeah, point. So. If, they, if, hey, if, if non whites want to support us, that's fine and good. We'll take their support, but they can't be members. We have an uh, email here from Harvey. He emails us, uh, given the negative stereotypes and the seemingly insurmountable odds at gaining a positive public image, why do you feel your organization can break the mold? And do you support the broader and more underground racial defense organization like the one that we have here in Alaska? I'm not even aware of any groups they have in Alaska. So I, um, can you can you break the mold? Uh, I mean, we talked we earlier. Break the mold? Head has connotations. Well, 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 we are we are. I think we are breaking the mold. Uh, a couple couple weeks ago, Times Leader put an article in the paper about the banner we put on Market Street, uh, which was the su subject of your uh, TV right. Show. Well, yeah. They put a thing in there saying it was a racist banner because all they said was preserve our heritage. The next day, they put a retraction saying it shouldn't. I guess they got a lot of people contacting them, just regular people from this area, saying, "How can you say preserve our heritage is racist?" It says preserve our heritage. What's wrong with that? Other races do it. And they put a retraction in the newspaper. Uh, this, as I said, this past Saturday we were on Market Street, you know, with our signs. I only got two negative responses. Everybody was honking the horn, waving to us. I only had two negative responses. Somebody yelled, you know, some profanities at us. So you feel your group's getting a positive yeah, response? Yeah, I think we, here I think we are. I think we are. Yeah. Uh, how many members in this area? Uh, I'm not really liberty to say under our guidelines, but we've got we've got a tremendous amount of support. In this area, a tremendous amount of support. And yep. by support, are we talking members? Are we just talking people that support us? You know, come to our functions. Uh, you know, give us emails and say, "Yo, I like I support what you're doing." But um, see, a lot of there's a lot of white guilt in society today, and people are afraid to come out because they don't want to be labeled a racist or a white supremacist. White, what, what do you mean by white guilt? White guilt. Oh, uh, the you know the groups like the NAACP, uh, textbooks, they uh, collectively blame whites for you know past discrimination like slavery or Jim Crow laws. Well, that, that's history. That's history, but in the history of slavery, only about less than 10% were slave owners. So you're going to collectively blame whites for what less than 10% were? If, if I was back in the slavery times, I, I wouldn't want slavery for the but fact... But it's kind of, kind of take guilt. I'm white. I, I, I mean, I wasn't around for slavery. I think it was an awful thing. I can't say I walk around feeling guilty about it because oh, it's, it's, quite, not, it's, quite, it's quite a few... I'm not responsible. There's quite a few whites that do feel responsible. Like in, recently, I guess it was uh, Virginia State, the legislator uh, apologized for slavery. Something that happened over 140... Well, he apologized for the state because the state endorsed it at some point. Well, as I said, less than, less than 10%, you know, own slaves and Whites shouldn't feel guilty about what happened years well, ago. I, I got to be honest. I, I wonder about your numbers. You talked about crime. I have the uh, Bureau of Justice statistics. I know you said that uh, mm -hmm. blacks and, and minorities are responsible for most crime. It pretty much breaks down to be 50 50. Well, uh, with 2%, 50% well, well, uh, white, 50% black, 2% other. Yeah, but you forget about the disparity. The, the pop there's more whites in the United States, but 13% blacks are spending over. Well, over half of all violent crimes, there's a big disparity between their disproportion between their population and the crime they're committing. So you still believe that if if there was less blacks and minorities in an area, it would be a safer area? I'm I'm looking for groups like the NAACP, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson. Instead of blaming white people for the crimes, to you know find their own pragmatic solutions to their own problem and not blaming quote 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 unquote the white man. Right. Lots of calls, as you can imagine. Okay. Dana from Sarah, welcome to the show, Dana. Yeah. Sir. I've got a question. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay, first of all, uh, Steve, I'd like to make a comment um, uh, about your not being a, uh, um, well, racist group. Okay, you know, first of all, I'd like to point out, uh, I, hey, I'm glad that you've got the uh, um, nerve to come on to the show, uh, and uh, I can understand where you're coming from, because you know what? Uh, not too long ago, I had a, a medical facility in my local area fabricate my medical records. And you know what? I've got all the proof in the world, and I'm white. And you know, if I was black, they'd never get away with that. So I can understand where you're coming from. Uh, but I'll also like to find out from you, since you are a community organization, um, when's the last time you went out for a minority group to help them out? Because you know what? It is a brotherhood. You know, if you, if you need to show how great your organization is, you have to look at it as a community and look at it and say, hey, guess what? You know what? We are trying to shape, change things. Well, uh, as I said, you said uh, help help other minority groups. They got they got all their organizations. We're gonna have a group that you know helps be a pro white organization. How how would you help them in that situation? Though I think that's what he's asking. How, how, how uh, I'm I'm willing to talk to the NAACP and try to find solutions to the crime the crime problem in our well, area. He's talking about this medical problem. 
Or his medical records were fabricated. He said if they wouldn't have done it to him if he wasn't white. That's how he's feel. What's the proactive stance of the group? I really didn't understand what he was saying about the medical records. What was he saying? He was saying they were fabricated, and he feels that uh, they wouldn't have done it to him if he, if he wasn't white. If, it was, if he was a black person, they wouldn't have uh, copied well, these records. Well, I, I really don't. I really couldn't comment on that. All right, Joel from <laughs> Auburn. Joel, welcome to the show. Hi. Uh, all right. Uh, first of all, I'm American German heritage, and I'm proud of that. Uh, a lot of people don't want to talk about being proud and white. Well, I'm not afraid to say that I'm proud and white. Uh, but I think there are other issues here at, at hand. What, what is this gentleman doing for his local community as far as helping out uh, families that are in need, uh, taking care of the general upkeep of his local community? I mean, staying out of trouble, keeping the people straight. Well, I'm looking to, we're looking to do some, some sort of community outreach to people. After, after we can try to uh, get around more, get our message out like we've been doing in the past few months, we're going to try to uh, find more community outreach, like maybe clean up a park or help feed the uh, needy. You said the group wants to prevent crime and be more family-centric. Uh, yeah. I mean, what's being done to prevent crime? We're oh. out of time. We're out of time. They're playing oh. the music. I'm sorry, Steve. We're simply out of time. We'll be right back after this.